Hi, I'm Sarah, founder of Magdalene Design Co. We design Squarespace websites for service-based businesses like photographers, home builders, interior designers, and more. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Squarespace's pin feature so you can achieve designs like this. Pinning is the term Squarespace uses to refer to the CSS position known as sticky. The pin feature can give your Squarespace website a really dynamic feel and add movement without the need to code. So let's dive in. All right, so first up, we're going to do this really simple scroll and hide and then text appear on the other side. So what we need to do is simply you'll place your piece of text here. I make it nice and large and then you'll leave a nice gap before you have a big like shape block at the bottom. It could be like an image as well. I'm going to show you a different version that has an image. Um, but then um, you'll do a new section with a shape block and the text below it. So if I turn off the sticky, the text is going to be behind this next block. So to achieve that look, we're just going to, once we have our text placed with a nice sized gap, like almost a full screen size, we're going to just turn on the pin feature and have it centered. And then it will go behind that block. Then here we're going to pin it, center it as well. And then we will just move this shape in front of it. So it is as simple as that, but it just makes for, it just adds interest to your website. It just makes for a more fun design. So that's something you can totally implement in your website today. And then really similarly, you can achieve a design like this where your text goes below the, an image. So you'll need Photoshop for this, but it's really simple once you have Photoshopped your images. You will just need a big piece of text again. So this is my image. You'll need a big piece of text. You'll need one background image and then you'll need to Photoshop um, the background out of this image. So then you can see this image I have um, not done super cleanly. You can see like the white lines and stuff, but um, once you Photoshop the background off of it, you'll just take that and then layer it right on top. So it looks like it's still part of the image so that when you pin this and you'll want to pin this one to the top, then it looks like it is hiding behind the image. Oops. You just need to make sure that the um, front image that you've taken the background off of is in front of that text. And then the background image obviously stays behind and then you get that nice effect where it looks like it's dipping into the waves. So that is a similar one, really easy to achieve. If you have Photoshop, you can just Photoshop a background off and it just gives some really fun interest to your design as well. All right, next up, we are going to achieve this fun like stacking effect here. And so the way we do that is by, these are just text blocks that I've added backgrounds to. And then I've made each one a different color. So I just had this text here and then I turned on the background, added the background color and then rounded it. So that's how I achieved that. And then um, you stack them. You can do them as far apart as you want. If you want this one to be off the page, you can just drag it down further. But otherwise I have them about like three blocks apart here. And then all you need to do is click pin and then you'll pin each one to the top. And then we're gonna look at what happens when we pin them to the center and the bottom as well. So nice and simple, that's how you achieve that. Again, just a fun idea to make maybe a list section or a how it works section a little more interesting. All right, and this is what it looks like when you set the pin offset to center. And again, it's gonna be the same thing. You'll set everything up. The only thing I've done differently here, like I said, is you have it the offset set to center. And then I've also pinned the piece of text to center as well so it all stays together. And then another thing you can do is you can make sure these are all the same size if you want them to disappear. I kind of like how they stack together. I think that looks kind of fun. 
but otherwise if you want them to just disappear behind one another you can go ahead and make them the same size but you can play around with how they stack together as well the only thing you'll also need to keep in mind is how much space you have at the bottom if you don't have enough space at the bottom you're not going to get the correct effect the last the last block isn't going to scroll all the way up so you just need to make sure that you stretch it and have enough room at the bottom and the last version of this layout is when they're all pinned to the bottom so this is what it looks like they kind of stack in and out of that bottom one and so i feel like the pinning to the bottom is like the trickiest one so I'll unpin everything, at least for me to like wrap my head around and I have to play around with it a lot to achieve the look I'm going for. But so I have quite a bit of space up here at the top. Um, this image is pinned or this text is pinned to the center as well. But then here I have them all just right next to each other because with a like a list item like this, you want them all to like be in view at once. You don't want to scroll past them. You kind of want to see the steps. So I have them all stacked on top of one another um, so that you'll be able to see it and then you go ahead and um, pin each one to the bottom so the key for this is just to have that space up top and have these aligned to the bottom all of these um, text blocks and that space up top is what helps you kind of get that scroll effect so here we are and once again scroll and they all pop out so those are three ways to use the pin feature with the top center and bottom offset and how they achieve different looks all right next up we're going to look at how to achieve this stacking look for this portfolio section on the cerise template so pretty similar to all of the other um designs we just did so i'm going to unpin everything here and all of these are just pinned to the center and so as you can see they're just spaced out a good amount and then pinned Okay, so I have made all of them um, about like 11 spaces apart, but it doesn't really matter. You can kind of eyeball it. And then for this piece of text, I have stretched it to be like the full width of the screen. So it doesn't like, just so it's a smooth scroll. And then I pin that text to the center as well. And then as you can see, I've also added this shape block behind it to give it another like added layer um, of depth to it to have um, a multicolor screen here. So this is just a shape block um, that I have made this color. And then once I have laid out all of my images, I just pin them to the center. So each one gets pinned to the center and you just have to make sure that they are stacked one on top of the other so that they're layered correctly. So if you need to adjust it, this is to move it backwards or to move it um, in front of. And um, the only other thing I've done here is because when you have the screen, um, when you don't have fill screen on, because um, if I had this on, then there would be this gap at the bottom, but I want the shape block to stretch all the way. So I have turned off fill screen and then I've just added another section to the bottom of it um, and then added that shape block again, just so this doesn't, so that the images have like a nice space at the bottom. I feel like it just doesn't look as great when all of the images hit the bottom of the next section. So to give it that effect that the section stretches on a little bit, I have just created this small section here to give it that look of it that the section is extending, if that makes sense. So that is how you achieve this um, stacking image portfolio look. All right, last but not least is this really simple scrolling feature going past in the portfolio section of the Primrose template. 
All right, so this one is probably going to be the most simple of all to achieve. The only thing that's pinned here is this piece of text. So I'll unpin that and you can see the images are all just laid out, spaced out how I like them. Everything's loading nice and slowly, but everything is just laid out how I like it. And then I've also added again this like bottom section here with the browse the full portfolio, just so like um, the images don't hit the bottom of the next screen. And so the text of the portfolio aligns nicely there. So all you have to do is place your text, place your images, and then pin that piece of text to the center. So it's really simple to do, but it also just gives a really elegant, dynamic feel to your website. So without being too distracting. So there you have it. That is how you achieve this look from the Primrose template. So there you have it, five creative designs to bring your website to life using Squarespace's pin feature. If you like this and you're interested in learning more about design or strategy, I have some free resources for you below, like everything you need to include on your homepage or where to find gorgeous fonts. Thanks and see you next time.